Uh, writing a string, um, so going into, re going into reverse and actually sending stuff to the server now. Um, basically, it's just the opposite. You know, we, get, we encode our string into UTF-8, get the length of a string, write our type marker, and then write our string uh, with the uh, length of the string preceded uh, before the string, and that's it. So when we actually create all these methods for parsing booleans, numbers, um, strings, and other uh, maybe more complex, complex objects that your binary protocol actually implements, um, basically this is, this is what it's going to end up looking like. Uh, you know, we iterate over every byte in a stream, um, you know, based on the type of, uh, based on a type marker that we run into, then we do the associated uh, protocol parsing. Uh, and what we actually did now just is create some simple state machine. Um, and uh, there you go. So writing a protocol hey, parser is uh, a lot easier. That was like than, perfect uh, timing. Did. There you go. <laughs> so. Um, um, so a couple of other things you, you might have noticed. Um, pretty much everything we were talking about here will work in either Python 2x or 3. The, uh, the URL uh, lib modules have been merged. Um, so, and if, and if this just uh, isn't enough for you, uh, we've, we haven't really came out and formally said this yet, but we're actually, we're actually writing a book on this topic. Because this is a humongous topic and it's hard to do in, in like an hour, right? So we, uh, we're writing a book on this and we're gonna go, because there's farther things you could go down, like um, using the base HTTP server class to then you know, test browsers and do all that good stuff. So uh, if you just can't get enough, um, well, hopefully in like five years, the book will be out and it'll, it'll be already be <laughs> invalid. <laughs> So um, we have 10 minutes, um, which is a lot more than we actually allotted for. So <laughs> if you guys have uh, any questions, um, I just learned Python as we were talking about this. So um, I don't know how much help I could be, but I'd be happy to answer any questions you got. Flip, flip the next one. So if you um, care about, what did you do? Man, you broke it. How did you do that? Is, I don't know. Some weird feature. OK, so if you. Um, if you care to listen to us, run our mouth on Twitter or whatever. That's our uh, our info, and uh, we'll be walking around. And if you have, does anybody have any questions right now? Oh yeah, yeah. It's so. So the question was, can we provide the URL? The URL again? Yep. Um, yes, we can. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for clarifying. It's it's hexsec.com, h-e-x-s-e-c.com forward slash docs. And it's the, obviously the two top docs on there. Um, so that's the presentation you just saw, and then the code snippets that contains the, uh, the Burp API, the, uh, the Reflect Request Program, Dharma Encoder, and the uh, PyWebFuzz. And Dharma Encoder and PyWebFuzz are on Google Code, which is great because you get to submit bugs, and then I get to not fix them. It's awesome. Any other, any other questions? Yeah, yeah, the, the presentation, the presentation is, yeah, it's up, it's up there. is the first link yep. on that page. Sorry that it's, it's not too verbose like with what it is. We literally did that like, um, you know, right before coming down here. So I'm just like, yeah, say Black Hat USA 2000. It's, it's quick. Any other questions? Wow, is that, it was that explanatory, huh? Awesome. Awesome. Well, anyway, thanks for showing up and watching our PHP talk. <laughs>